What if my friends aren't Christian? Most Christians believe that it's super important to hang out with other Christians for lots of reasons. Hey! Hey. It's really good to know that there are people out there that see the world basically the way you do. That there are other people who try their best to follow Jesus. It's good to get refreshed, recharged, realigned, motivated. What's up? Yeah. That's a huge part of what the church is all about. It's good to have what Christians call fellowship with other believers, even if they're different from you. Word her up, home sloop. Even if they're a lot different from you. But what do you do when your friends don't share your beliefs? What if your friends aren't Christian? You know what I hate? Religion. Am I right or what? High five. Don't leave me hanging here. What should we do? Is it okay to be friends with people who don't believe in Jesus? Well, you've probably heard your parents or someone else's parents or a grandparent or a teacher or a pastor or some other authority figure say at one time or another he or she is a bad influence. And it's true. Both Christians and non-Christians can sometimes be bad influences on one another. Hey, man, we're going to ditch school. You want to come? Uh, yeah, okay. Awesome. We'll probably end up doing something dangerous and or illegal. You cool with that? Yeah, whatever you say. You like me though, right? When we try to fit in, when we're motivated by a fear of being rejected, then we often find ourselves doing things we wouldn't normally do, that we know we shouldn't do. So does that mean you should just avoid certain people altogether? That you shouldn't be friends with people who could potentially be a bad influence on you? Early Christians ran into this exact same problem. They had to figure out how to treat their friends and neighbors who didn't follow Jesus. And what they came up with was actually pretty simple. They looked at the example Jesus provided. Yes, long before all the bracelets and the t-shirts, Christians were asking, what would Jesus do? Ha <laughs> ha! What would I do? Well, for one, Jesus certainly didn't hide from people that were considered bad influences. In fact, Jesus spent a lot of his time with those kind of people. What's up? But was Jesus trying to fit in with them? Was he afraid of rejection? Ta-da! So, you guys like me now, right? According to the Bible, Jesus wasn't ever trying to fit in to get people to accept him. He was doing his own thing. He was demonstrating God's unlimited love for all people by reaching out to them, caring for them, letting them know that he accepted them and loved them no matter what. Love you. Yes, indeed we do. And Christians believe this is what God calls on you to do as well, that you are to selflessly reach out to all people in loving kindness, including non-Christians, especially non-Christians. Hey. hey. So instead of asking ourselves if, we should really be asking how to be friends with people who aren't Christian. You see, just as people can be bad influences on one another, they can be good influences as well. Hey, we're skipping school to go do something stupid and or destructive slash irresponsible. Wanna come? Nah. Aw, oh, come on, don't be lame. It's just not my thing. But you know, you've been skipping a lot of school lately. What's going on? What's it to you? Well, I just... Whatever. When we set aside our fears and selfish desires, when we focus on expressing God's love and acceptance of everyone to motivate our words and actions, then we're being the best friend that we can be. So maybe ask yourself, what is motivating you to be friends with anyone, really? Is it concern for them? Genuine concern? Even if they don't want you to be concerned? Or is it fear and selfishness? Be a friend to people that aren't like you. A good friend. A real friend. And get together with fellow believers to encourage each other and remind each other why we're doing this. Why we're Christians. We do this because God first chose to be friends with us. <laughs>